everyone. My name is Kate Charman and I live at God's Hill Pottery and we've been earning our living for nearly 50 years just by making pottery. We um, did it in a very amateurish way to begin with. We got married in 1960 and uh, we put a sign out on the road saying God's Hill Pottery for sale and people thought it was the house. <laughs> so we put it up on the side of the house and it was as simple as that starting. Chris asked his mother to show him how to make a pot on this very primitive wheel. And she said, well, if you clear the shed out, um, yeah, I'll show you. So she did, and uh, he was hooked. And this was a quite a primitive setup, but it sort of lit something in him. I decided I wanted to do something that I enjoyed to earn my living, and I was almost mad on pots. I had a go at that. My father used to do wood carving, quite an exceptional work he did. Um, he'd take pieces of wood that he found on the forest and make them into whatever his vivid imagination suggested. As he got older, his uh, energy level got down and my mother thought, well, let's uh, see whether we can uh, take up a craft that doesn't take so much hard work as wood carving and uh, they started pottery. People come along now and look at a design and they say, oh, and they tell me exactly where it came from in the world, this design, and I say, well, I never even thought of that. <laughs> Especially the Americans. <laughs> say, <laughs> how do you get that effect? <laughs> the lump of clay, you slap it down in the middle of the of the wheel head and then with your hands while it's going with the, the clay is spinning you center it everything has to be centered before you start making anything that's that basis get it tr running true using that as a resting point gradually push this finger down into the center of the lump and apply pressure and open it out and then you move on a th fat wall like that and you bring it, the clay up by exerting pressure from the inside and the outside. They're put into the kiln um, to, to have the first firing. And then you glaze them. And the glaze is a form of glass. Quite a few of the glazes I do, I do are mistakes. There's been a lot of head banging. And when I've opened the kiln, oh, cool, that's OK. Yeah, right, I'll include that in my repertoire. Yeah, and you've got to love it. It's a very skilled job throwing. You, yeah. you never stop learning, ever, ever. <laughs>